So, the reason I set out to make this video is because in my previous video I partially showed and explained how I found three griffins within 48 hours and I know I was asking myself the same question, could this be repeated or did I just get ridiculously lucky? And so that's why I set out to make this video, I just wanted to find out can, how, how long is it going to take me to find another griffin's eye? And I did end up finding one and also I found other very interesting things along the way. This video will be under 900 runs just to give you an idea. So this video is recorded with player three settings and 267% magic find. Just as a disclaimer to those on Battle.net, I'm sorry that I know that this is not something you can repeat because you only have one hour at a time per terror zone and it's very rare that Andariel or the catacombs will even be terrorized. But this is just an experiment to find out how well each terror zone performs when it's exclusively tested. And I plan on moving on to another terror zone here tomorrow. And, and I want to test them, test out the, the popular ones and find out, you know, how, what, what your time could be worth there. You could do the math yourself and figure out, oh, Andariel's going to be terrorized for the next hour. It, you know, my time might be worth this because of Blake's video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we go. All right, to save some time, I cut out the previous clips of me finding a Reaper's Tool, an Azerath, a uh, Tal's Ami, and a Guillaume's Face. And here on run 36, we have 40% enhanced damage jewel. I just thought that was, that's eh, kind of interesting because it actually, you know, perfect on the 40, but it'd be a lot better if it had increased attack speed, of course. And here we are, run number 39, and we have Tal Rasha's Guardianship, Lacquered Plate. Um, I found two more of these later in making this video, so this is the only one I'm going to show you. They drop here so frequently, as I mentioned in my previous video. And here on run number 50, we have a Harlequin's Crest Shaco. Here on run number 58, just pointing out a set diadem. Another chance that it tried to roll for a Griffins and failed, but at least it's trying. On run number 60, I find my first mid rune here, an um rune. Now, of course, it didn't drop directly from Mendario, but that's okay. Here on run 78, I'm just pointing out the magic diadem there on the ground. Another chance that it could have ruled a Griffins. Uh, upon closer inspection, it looks like this was not dropped from Andariel. Here on run number 86, we have an unearthed wand magic from Andariel herself. Now this could have ruled unique and could have been Death's Web, which is... Something I've still never found. I would love to find one. On run number 139, our unique amulet is a metal grid, which is a pretty nice little find. It scored pretty high, too. And then this champion sword we have here on the ground is Doombringer, which, uh, for those of you who've been around since the beginning of this game, I remember a time when I found a Doombringer before there were runes, and finding one back then was as good as finding a Burr rune today. It was just, I remember being ecstatic over the moon as a teenager, finding a Doombringer champion sword. Here on run number 162, looks like I was struggling a little bit. Uh, we got an Umrune. Another Umrune, that's nice. This one, it took me a second to find it here. Uh, hold on. Uh, we have a three socket of diadem land on the ground up there in the corner, you can see. Getting ready to pick it up. Uh, just wanted to point out that another diadem dropped. It could have rolled unique and been Griffin's Eye, and it did not drop from Andy, of course, being up here. 
but still something to point out. All right, to save on time, I cut out a clip of me finding a wisp projector and a clip of me finding a Reaper's tool and a rare Archon staff, just a couple of things. Here in this clip, I wanted to show you a rare Diadem fell, another chance I could have rolled Griffins. Uh, upon closer examination, it appears that this one did not drop from Andariel. And in this clip, we have something that everybody loves to find, and it's an arachnid mesh. Real nice find. And this unique spired helm, you can probably guess which one it is. It's the Nightwing's Bale. Yeah, I've only found a couple of these before, so it's an exciting thing to find. Here on run number 284, I'm just showing you that another set diadem fell from Andario. As I keep saying, it's just another chance that Griffins could have rolled. Here we have a rainbow facet. And it's only a 4-3 lightning, but I still want to show you every time a rainbow facet drops just because this is a place where they drop frequently. Here on run number 328, I found something I've never found before. Uh, not super useful, but 45 to life. I've never gotten a grand charm with 45 to life before, the max, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, if the magic find would have instead been plus one to lightning skills, I'd be a lot happier for sure. But it's still interesting. Here we are on run number 333. And where is it hiding? It's not right there. Nobody's gonna drop it here in a second. There it is, Malrune. Run number 385, we have Andariel's Visage. And it's only 9% life leech, but 29 to strength, yeah, it's not bad. On this run, we have Raven Lore. And I'm not really sure what Raven Lore is worth, but it looks like it's worth something. It doesn't look like junk you throw away, so... Hmm, hold on to it. Run number 411. Unique amulet, what could it be? Amara's $23 resistance. It seems that uh, the, every one that I've found lately has been less than 25 I cannot seem to get any any good Mara's lately. A uh, previous clip I cut out, Andy dropped a magic unearthed wand, another chance for uh, Death's Web to rule. Anyways, in this clip, number 442, we have a grandfather. For those of you who watched my previous video, I missed the grandfather that dropped it. I didn't pick it up, and I managed to get this one. Hard to believe this was worth so much at one point in time. But, yeah. Run number 461. It's been 19 runs since we found the last grandfather, and boom, another one. Here on run 463, we have, oh, Herald of Zacharum, Gilded Shield. Excellent find. Kind of hard to find sometimes, too. Number 496, we have a unique sacred armor. Is it Tyriel's Might? Could it be? Could it be? No, of course not. It's Templar's Might. <laughs> Here, just another rainbow facet. Another low roll, just pointing it out. Run number 548, exciting drop coming. Real big drop, what's it gonna be? Death's Web, Unearthed Wand. I found about three magic unearthed wands in this video. While making this video, I didn't show you all the clips. Um, and I knew nothing about how this could roll whenever I found it, because I'd never found one before. And after Googling it, I found out that it can have one to two to poison and bone skills, and mine has two. 
I can have negative 40 to negative 50 enemy poison resistance. I got negative 48, almost, you know, really great there. And then 12 to life after each kill, that can range from 7 to 12. And to mana after each kill, it can range from 7 to 12. We've got 10, so this thing is just wonderful. I'm, I'm, I've always thought of Necro as my least favorite character, but I'm probably going to make one just so I can use this, just so I can test it out. But yeah, awesome find. In this run I just wanted to show you, Andy dropped a rare diadem. We're gonna find that griffin soon. It's gonna happen. We just wait and see. In this run, number 582, I just want to bring your attention to the rare hydro bow on the ground that could have ruled to have been wind force. I just want to show you the likelihood of one dropping here. It's pretty decent because I had a wind force drop here. I mentioned it in my previous video, however, I missed it and I didn't pick it up. I noticed it when it was too late. Um, yeah, just wanted to point that out. In this run, I'm just pointing out another rare that could have rolled unique. Uh, we have the rare Unearthed Wand. Could have been another Death's Web. Uh, this is definitely a hot spot if you're trying to find Death's Web. In this run, we have another Rainbow Facet. This one's a 5-4 Lightning. That's pretty good. And we have a... And Dariel's Visage again. And this time, 10 Life Leash. This is one I can actually use. I'm happy about this one. Run number 795. We have another Arachnid Mesh. Very nice. Run number 809. And we have another rainbow facet. Run number 812. And we have a Colossus Bulge, which is ethereal. And it's not bad because you can put four sockets in it and quickly make an infinity or an insight or whatever you need with your four socket room work. Run number 838. This is the big moment. Boom. Griffin's Eye. I was so nervous that this was going to take me 2,000 runs to do because I didn't want to spend the time. And <laughs> I was very grateful that I found it within 838. I really wanted to show you guys that it wasn't a fluke. The other ones I found. Oh, and let's look at this. We've got a tw negative 20 to enemy lightning resistance. That's the first one out of the uh, four that I found that has the negative 20. So I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this wasn't a fluke and in my previous video wasn't a fluke and that I could repeat this 838 that's that's perfect. That's exactly what, like what I was hoping for and my first one I found in less than a thousand every one I found in less than a thousand so that's food for thought Something I've been meaning to talk about before we conclude this video is I have seen conflicting data on the internet suggesting that a, t a terrorized zone is the same as a regular level 85 area. And I've also seen other places on the internet where they say if you are at least level 91, that each time a TC87 item rolls, it will roll three times instead of one, giving you triple the odds. And my experience <laughs> in terrorized zones certainly suggests that that is true because this is not the way the game is supposed to be this is not you're supposed to search forever to find tc87 items so considering this information i suggest you wait until you're at least level 91 before you start to try to profit off of terrorized zones i'm not saying maybe you shouldn't farm there before for experience but get to level 91 so right now, I need to ask a huge favor of my viewers. At the point in time that this video has been recorded, I need 107 more subscribers before YouTube will start paying me for my videos. 
Uh, I currently estimate that they've made over $10,000 in ad revenue from the videos I've made. And I have not gotten a penny because I need 1,000 subscribers. So guys, help me get to 1,000. I, I just need 107 more at the time that this video is recorded. Um, it would mean the world to me. Seriously, I would be so grateful. Thank you.